Okay, so I and hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and today I'm just want to show you how to add indicators of different calibers or nations into one indicator chart window. For example, in this case, as you can see over here, I have added the, the RSI and the moving average onto one chart window. This is a case whereby the RSI contains this a blue line and then the moving average contains the the red line so yeah so typically i've received a lot of requests to to show on how to add the two indicators so that they can be used in an expert advisor and uh, it is pretty much easy to to do this so first of all let me just open a window let me just open another chat window so i can maybe come over okay come over here and I say I'll do SDM then let me just open the one hour chart time frame in that case then try to add the indicators so just go to insert then I will add um, the moving average first of all whichever then I will also let me just expand or expand this one and then I will go ahead and add the RSI RSI should be an auxiliator rel relative strength indicator then i will add it like that so now you can see the moving average is uh, added on the main window whereby while the rsi is added on another chart window over here that uh, you can see whose ranges is uh, from 0 to 100 for the rsi and there from for the moving average it's a uh, Indicator calculations are just based on the price, uh, the current market prices. So how can you currently or uh, just combine these two indicators? So let's dance. So first of all, just open the IDE. Then I will go to the algo trading, click on new, expert advisor from template, then uh, combine. indicators ea then click on next next and then finally finish so typically adding two indicators onto the same chart is uh, something somehow somehow confusing but uh, i will take you slow and uh, quick at the same time so first of all let me just declare uh, indicator handles so let me have integer handle and all ma and then let me just and all let me just start since we want to add the the indicator to this data window over here let me just first of all declare the rsi which is not the base indicator then th that is the point where now we are whereby now we want to add this moving average so rsi comes first in that uh, case but does it make any any in a much sense at the end so let me just have rsi then i can initialize this on to invalid end all and then again integer okay integer end all ma for the moving average or whichever any other indicator these they are just for illustration purposes only you can just go ahead and do use whichever the indicators that i want so on the own in section of yeah let me take a little bit of time to arrange the code so over here we just do like uh, like uh, we always do so we do have a moving uh, uh, handle rsi whereby you can use uh index z rsi then providing the symbol name providing the period providing the moving average period so let's say for the rsi i have used uh, a default of uh, 14 and then for the now over here this is where the changes now do apply as simple as that you can either provide in the applied price or the indicator handle for for where i want to to add your indicator to if i go to irsi press f4 on the keyboard to open the mql5 documentation you can see the add returns the function returns the end of the rsi it, it, it just have one function but we just want to concentrate on the applied price over here type of price or a handle in that case now you can see we do have 
these uh, the the apply price of yeah the price used can be any of the price constants which is not the enum enumeration of the apply price or a handle of another uh, indicator as simple as that so over here you just need to provide the handle of the other indicator other than providing in these uh, applied price enumerations over here that uh, you can see like uh, typically we could just go we normally just go with the price uh, price close for the for the rsi in that uh, case then let us just then uh, providing for the moving average has again a uh, index z moving average providing the symbol name providing the period providing the moving average period in this case let me just go with a period of five then the shift is zero since you don't want it to shift either to the left or to the right then let me just have it as a simple moving average and uh, that is all pretty much so let me just compile this one and uh, yeah um okay if we do have an error over here uh, wrong since we did not complete uh, everything so we need to provide in there the apply price over here this is again a uh, price price close that uh, case so now this price closes and everything else is just from here we will just go over here double click and then go to uh, apply price it is uh, applied to 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 the closing price in that uh, case for the rsi and the same case happens for the moving average so apply to uh, then the close that is yeah the applied price over there that you can see so i hope nothing does confuse so now proceeding in you can maybe go over here to the own take maybe to get the the data or uh, something as typical as that but before we are there let me just compare this one and uh, go to combine indicators over here and i try to source for a uh, expert advisor and uh, and it add it to the chart so just this will be in a minute so let me just open another window for where we will attach our indicators our expert advisor do mean so combine should be some combine indicators expert advisor that is uh EA. and then from here we can maybe currently nothing is added to the chart so we need to add the indicators to the chart for maybe visualization purposes and the other kind of uh, kind of uh, stuff so this is what to do we just come over here just come over here and uh, add the indicators to the chart and you easily do this on using the chart uh, indicator and just for you to view them the sub window is zero for the main window then on a sub window uh, one where i want to add the rsi this is now the sub window for where i want to add then indicator handle that you want to add and is a handle rsi first of all and then you also want to add you also want to add the handle handle moving average in that uh, case but not for the moving average is contained on the main uh, sub window in that case so combine compile this one and then you can see we do have the moving average added to the main sub window which is now zero and uh, rsi to the sub window uh, one in that uh, instance so up to that extent i think everything is okay so now how do you combine these indicators so if you want to move the moving average into the main chart window where the rsi is contained you just need to provide one over here and it will be moved to that uh, window as you can see over here so this moving average over here you can see it does like a depict the does depict the movement of this moving average over here but we do have a problem the rsi over here and the moving average they are of totally different values as you can see in these uh, cases as you can see they are of different values we do have moving average the rsi is working fine because it is on its own window but mo the moving average is uh, not fine because it is on a 
different window and uh, we use the same uh, it is using the same uh, values over here yeah. so this will just like uh, typically result into something like uh, this whereby you can see we do have two different uh, scales for the moving average and for the rsi so we want to combine them to you know typically use the rsi values to depict the rsi values with a minimum of zero and a maximum of uh, 100 but you can see over yeah this is not this is not the case so how do we do that then so to do this eh, we just like uh, let's i want to visualize the data window over here for you to see what i am meaning for the rsi and the for the moving average over there you can see the the data that you do get is typically totally different so we want to have them as a cross in this uh, case maybe we want to identify the cross between the rsi and the moving average how do you then achieve this so this is what you do let us actually maybe even print the the, the data over here for you to see double let's say moving average data and the rsi data whereby you want to store them and then you can maybe use um, copy buffer function providing the indicator handle so let's say handle moving average providing the buffer number for moving average is always zero then the starting position let's say zero then copy a maximum of just three data, then store it into a moving average over there then again use the copy buffer function providing the rsi indicator handle this use buffer number is zero again then starting position and uh, yeah then rsi in that uh, case then maybe we can just go ahead now and print these uh, data you can say uh, moving average Uh, moving average data let's say for index number one for the previous one let us not maybe normalize this double to how many digits for the two many digits now maybe let's say five or a six let me just go with five digits for the normalization and then we can maybe provide in the the other one for the rsi so rsi rsi data then again normalize these on to five digits so just copy these and paste it over there but this is now the rsi so i hope this one will work fine so let us then revert back over here and uh, you can see we do have a difference between the moving average data and the and the and the these let me get rid of one indicator over here the the one that you had added to the chat window so you can see the moving average is uh, it's this is quick but uh, you can see the the ranges that you do have moving average is 0 0.6 which is currently typically too insignificant when added to the indicator chart window and then you can see the rsi is uh, the one which is now in the correct format so now to combine this one this is what you do this is what you do you just come over here and whereby now you see um, this closing price you delete something so instead of uh, providing in the the these these applied price you just like providing the handle for the rsi so just go ahead and providing rsi and since you wanted to you want to add it to the uh, rsi chat window or uh, something as typical as that so now this should solve all your problems and uh, yeah so now you can see moving average is uh, 46 okay over here now we do have two kinds of uh, moving averages so we need to delete one let us go to indicator list and uh, typically let us delete everything 
just delete everything so we compile it again and now you can see we do have two different indicators over there and you can see now we do have moving average of 46 and rsi of 46 which kind of depicts the the price which is now over here so by that now you can be able to determine the cross between the moving average and rsi indicators respectively so um let me normalize this onto the rsi you can maybe normalize it to how many digits now for the rsi what is it shown to two digits over there instead of printing too much data like uh, that so typically you just need to add in the not to replace the applied price with the indicator handle of whichever that you want to add to the to the chart window so now you can see we do have the moving average over there whose now data is a 46 and then the rsi is a 49 and there uh, and uh, yeah maybe you can just expand or expand this one to just expand it so it can be super visible in that uh, case so yeah i think that is now everything that uh, you needed to know about the addition of a moving average onto the chart so now you can be able with the data that uh, you are you do get over here from the data window you can maybe uh, determine a crossover between the rsi and the moving average over here because you can see they are of the same kind of the same data so you can be able to determine the crossovers of these particular indicators at the at the end so as easy as that so i think i have answered uh, many people's question it doesn't again does does not again uh, require that uh, you do have rsi and a moving average alone can use other indicators like uh, the marked which is now the moving average convergence divergence the 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 envelopes the yeah whichever the other indicator that uh, you wanna use so that is all typically that uh, you need to know for you to add the indicator so now you can see you can maybe determine a crossover whereby you do have a crossover here yeah, and take a buy position right in the market see you have another crossover over here yeah, then uh, write the market up to the point whereby you do have the other crossover let's say typically over here and uh, yeah typically he says that so that is all bye bye